okay, what? Well, as, as a Muslim, what we say, when he comes to, when he, when he, when he comes speaking about the Creator, we don't just speak about him based upon our intellect. Of course, some stuff you can utilize, you know, you can see the mercy of the Creator reign. But to speak about him in detail, you need a divine law. You understand? Because you're speaking about something you cannot see. You understand? So now that's why the Creator chose messengers from us as human to tell us about himself and again to show you that this creator exists he gave them something that differentiated them from the rest of the people and he gave them something which they challenged the other human beings to bring something like it so because if these humans who are claiming to be prophets they came from someone that doesn't exist how come they have something which is so special the rest of the human beings they cannot challenge them with a good point. Okay. Now, what is this uh, quality which this prophet possessed? One of the qualities they prophesize about the future. One of the qualities they prophesize about each other, even though they never met each other. You see, how can we know that? For instance, we have this book. It's been found. Manuscript of this book has been found. Uh, the Old Testament, backdated 1,000 years before the Prophet Muhammad. However, it speaks about Prophet Muhammad in this book. And guess what? Prophet Muhammad already mentioned, Allah mentioned and Prophet Muhammad also mentioned, that he's been, his description and his name has been mentioned in the previous book. The people, they said no, because they never had the access like we have now to manuscripts, yeah? He said, no, you're lying. But now we found the manuscript speaking, given description of Prophet Muhammad. And bear in mind, the holder of this book does not believe in a Prophet Muhammad. However, because person might say, uh, maybe they put him inside because they know each other, they believe in each other. No, they are enemies in each other. But yet, his description is in here. I just want to show you something. Are you familiar with the Bible? Okay. I'm going to show you something about Isaiah, which is one of the Israelite prophets. 1,000 years or more uh, before Prophet Muhammad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Here. Okay. here speaks about this Isaiah, who is a prophet, speaking about a, a, a servant come to glorify the Lord. Yeah, he said, "Behold, my servant whom I uphold, my elect one, in whom my soul my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the giant's house." According to the Old Testament, the giants are not Jews, yeah? But here he speaks about his description. But the main point here I want to speak, speak about, he says here, let the wildness and its cities lift up their voice. Let them rejoice because of these prophets, yeah? because of this man, yeah? Let the inhabitants of, uh, uh, let the, the, the village that Kedah inhabits, let the inhabitants of Selah sing. Who's Kedah? If you go Genesis 25, 13, This Genesis 25 13. This is a way, way before Isaiah. He said, And these were the names of the sons of Ishmael. By their, their names, according to their generations. The firstborn of Ishmael, Nabajid. Yeah, and the second, Keda. So this this prophet is coming from Keda, is the son of Ishmael. And Selah, you can Google it, is a mountain in Saudi. Historically speaking, for the Muslims you can go to and the non-Muslims, the only man came and made these people rejoice and civilize is the Prophet Muhammad who lineage goes back to Kedah to, the, uh, to Ishmael. And it's, it's known historically when the Prophet Muhammad came to uh, what do you call it? Came to Medina, the people of Medina stood on this mountain and they were happy for him coming. So how this prophecy doesn't I, I, I challenge the Christians because Christians say no, it's not Prophet Muhammad. The Jews they say the same thing. Yeah, I challenge them. I said I'll give you ten years to establish to me who is this prophet because it doesn't fit no one. And likewise, in the, the, the song of the songs in Hebrew, you can check it. It's, it's six or six. It speaks clearly about Muhammadim. Muhammadim is a Hebrew term. And Hebrew and Arabic are similar. Hebrew, Arabic, Aramaic, Syriac is the name of Muhammad in a book that exists way before Prophet Muhammad. Speaking about Prophet Muhammad is coming. So I'm saying, how does this happen? It cannot be coincidence. It's so obvious, like, you know, it's, like, it's so precise.